My name is William Paul Thomas. I am an artist. So I've always loved drawing. Like, since I was a little kid, I always loved drawing. And my mom supported that by giving me a, a sketchbook. And my granny ran a, a youth outreach organization when I was growing up. And we did art activities, cultural art activities. And usually when, it, when something needed to be drawn, um, I was one of the kids, one of the people that was asked to help draw it. We made signs for some urban agriculture spaces that uh, her organization was allotted. Um, so I've always grown up making art, making drawings. And then in college, I majored in art. And I, then I went on a little bit further and got a graduate degree in art, a Master of Fine Arts. And so I think art is drawing and making two-dimensional images has always been a part of my life. Coverage of it. Coverage of the block. In Argyle Gardens, the, the, the wall is cinder blocks that my mom painted pink. She painted like most of the apartment uh, this bright pink color. And so I did a project, or I've been working on the project for the last few years of a singular pink cinder block as a symbol of my childhood home, as a symbol of my mother or whatever. So like, uh, I've made my own version, so there's one uh, cinder blocks that I've literally painted pink, but there's also paintings that I've made of it, and I've invited other people to make their own versions of this pink cinder block, all as a way of just celebrating her doing this, sort of, you know, with us having limited means, her still, like, as a young woman, decorating her home in a way that she felt was what she wanted home to look like at the time. So that project in itself is, is not a portrait project, it's not a figurative project, but it's one that's been really important as a Tumblr page for it. I'm inspired by our responses to visual stimuli, like what we turn looking at a picture or a movie, anything that we go um, observe visually, like so not just images that people create, but things that we can see, what that turns into us like emotionally and psychologically, like that we start to interpret the world around us and that artists can have some effect on that or impact that or make a certain set of decisions that can inspire others. So I guess I'm, I'm inspired by knowing that if I make a painting of someone, that when they see that images of, image of themselves, they're seeing, they're seeing themselves in a way that they might not be used to seeing themselves, if only because there is a painting of them instead of like a photograph. If only because it's a painting of them in a certain lighting condition or with a certain expression. And what that means to them uh, symbolically of being like honored. So, uh, I'm really uh, influenced by like the capacity for artists to be uh, mediators or vessels for certain kinds of messages. And I, I really do want to reinforce the idea that, um, that that's been with us for a while now, but I want to reinforce the idea that like black is beautiful, right? So I love painting pictures of black people and 
having them and their loved ones sort of experience that and know that um, that's the way I'm perceiving them and that's the way that I believe the world should perceive them.